in this episode we're going to be setting up a new motovlog helmet so basically we are taking my old helmet and not retiring it but we are switching over to a new helmet that is a modular and we are switching over to a bell more specifically the bell qualifier dlx with mips mips so let's go ahead and unbox this All right, well that's the new helmet. So just to quickly go over the Bell Qualifier DLX with MIPS, comes with a transition fog proof lens, has a little front chin piece here, vents there and there. Also has brow vents, one, two, three, four inlets right here, which open and close just like that. Has two vents up top, there and there, four, exit vents, two big ones at the top and two smaller ones towards the bottom. It is a full face helmet. Comes with, uh, like I said, MIPS patented brain protection system. You guys can look up more on that online. Not gonna really go super in depth on the helmet. I'm gonna go ahead and start setting this up for the moto vlog. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the lens off since I'm gonna be working around that and inside the helmet just so I don't scratch it up or anything. All right, lens is off. Let's go ahead and get the rest of this stuff undone. All right, so there we have it, the helmet. And then we're also going to be putting in a GoPro Hero 5 Black. So we've got that. We've got a couple of different mounts here as well. We have the curved mount that comes around to the front. I'm gonna drop links for everything that I'm using here in the description below. So you guys can find the links to the helmet mounts that curve around. You guys can find the links to the 90 degree, 90 degree adapter that I'm gonna be using here as well. Find links to the GoPro. And then I'm also gonna be using these little screws to basically keep it nice and tucked in instead of having these big bolt pieces that come out of it normally. And we're also going to be installing a different latch system. Uh, instead of using the double D rings, I basically replaced the latches on my helmets with all with these because they are quick and easy and they are heavy duty. You know, it's all metal, so they latch in really very strongly. So we're gonna be doing that also. So I guess first things first, starting at the base of it, let's go ahead and get the uh, that latch replaced. So basically, what you have to do is you have to remove this little plastic tab right here. Easy as that, just screws right out. All right, so I got that side on there. Had to go through a little loop behind the D-rings, but it's on, it ain't going nowhere. And then I just zip tied the D-rings out of the way so they don't come down and constantly clang against that. I'll probably actually wrap that with like electric tape just so there's not like that sharp edge with the zip tie. But yeah, we'll leave that as is for now. I just gotta get on the other side now. All right, so that's how you run the uh, that's how you run the straps, and then you're basically going to put it on and adjust it to what is comfortable to you. So I'm going to do that real quick. All right, so I've adjusted it to a length that is good for me whenever it's all lashed up. So at that point, you're just going to make sure it doesn't move from there, and you're going to run the straps back through this piece here so it stays in place. All right, there we go. Cool, so now that the latch is taken care of, it's a pretty important part of the helmet, we can move on to figuring out how we're gonna mount it, how we're gonna mount the GoPro to the front. All right, so basically what I'm gonna be using is a angled adapter piece and a 90 degree adapter. So that is going to basically look like this. front and swing around to right there all right so that's pretty much how the mounts gonna be and then we're going to put a uh, curved piece here along the side so that's kind of gonna be what it looks like all assembled together except that I'm gonna remove this and this so I'll go ahead and do that real quick 
I'm basically going to be replacing those with these smaller bolts as similar flush so they're not sticking way out. Well, damn it, that bolt isn't long enough because these aftermarket pieces too thick, so I'm going to have to go buy another one. All right, well, I'm going to go buy a longer bolt for that one just so it's not sticking out as much. We want to keep this one. Whenever you're lining up the helmet, you want to make sure that the lens for the GoPro is in the middle of the helmet. A lot of people will mount so that the GoPro is straight centered up, but then the lens is actually off to the left a little bit. So you want to actually mount it so that the lens is right in the middle. So you don't want anything tightened down so that you can kind of move everything around as you're finding the mounting position. So you do also want to make sure that you have clearance whenever you close the lens. So that's what I just did. All right, I think we're good to go to uh, mount this thing up. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the adhesive off of the back of the mount and uh, go ahead and mount it up, make sure the surface is clean. Just to mention as well, because I'm sure a lot of you guys are gonna notice this, but this little piece is actually broken off. It should look like that right there. The shop that I bought it from, it actually came from Bell like that. Now these guys discounted this helmet like crazy because that piece is broken off. And I will never use these chin vents. I'll always keep them closed because the microphone's gonna be in here and I don't want any wind noise in there. So that worked out in my favor because it's, I'm gonna leave it closed anyways. I always left it closed on my old one. And so they gave me a, a substantial discount for that little piece. I told them I would take it if they would discount it, and so they did. All right, that is mounted. So now we can click this thing into place, and it'll be lined up. Awesome. So we got the GoPro mounted. Looks good. Does set off a bit a bit, but whenever I'm leaning, that angle's good because your head's not actually level. Your head's usually like this. So it's good that it has some space. You don't need it right up against it. Cool. So now that that's done, I do need to get new bolts for that. Go to Home Depot and grab those. And those are just those are just these bolts right here, which are machine screws, 32 by 3 quarter inch, but you would want probably, I don't know, longer than 3 quarter inch since those aren't fitting. So now that that part is done, we have to wire up the microphone. So that is part right here, which I have. Once again, I'll drop the link below for this microphone. It works perfectly with the GoPro Hero 5. It is a mono mic by a company called Giant Squid. We have to wire that up, and then we're also going to be installing the GoPro Hero 5 mic adapter, which is a brick. And I've already actually kind of outfitted it to be mounted via Velcro on the side, just in case I do want to remove it. So it'll basically be right here. Uh, on that note, if you do want to go ahead and remove the little side door from the GoPro, You don't need to do that basically to see where you're going to mount this thing up. So it's going to be about right there. So on the adapter, I have a piece of heavy duty double sided tape followed by the Velcro. The material of this adapter doesn't really stick very well because it's like a, almost like a silicone. And so then I have the zip ties which are basically holding that into place as well just so it doesn't fall off. And then the Velcro is like an industrial grade Velcro. So whenever I put the other side of the Velcro here, it should stick nicely. So let me go ahead and grab that real quick. All right, so once you've got your opposite side of Velcro cut out, you're going to just attach it to this piece here. Plug it into the GoPro while you're trying to find your spot to mount it. Now I have gone ahead and cleaned this up already. So you're gonna to wanna to do that as well, clean the surface. So there you go, mic adapter is mounted as well. So now we need to run the mic. You don't want to mount it like right in the middle. 
but you don't want it right here because whenever you're breathing and you exhale, that's gonna be like all up in here, right? You wanna get it kind of close to the cheek pad. A lot of people will actually tuck the mic behind the cheek pad even. So that's the cool thing with the, uh, the full face helmet that I couldn't do with the modular. So I'm gonna go ahead and try doing that real quick. And to do that, I'm gonna actually take out all the padding. All right, so doing that really opens it up, gives you a lot more room to work with basically to figure out how you're gonna route all the wiring for the microphone. I do have a little tiny piece of double-sided adhesive tape so I can just, you know, pop it in there and it'll stick. So while I'm routing all the rest of the wiring, that can stay in place. We can kind of figure it out. So, all right, that was quite the pain in the app. <laughs> so just to, I guess, show you guys kind of how I did it. Um, if I would have been recording, it would have taken me like an hour, no joke. So I ran the wire, the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack plugs into there. The wire basically runs into right here. Now uh, there is a part like the plastic piece here that sticks out and that you tuck into the side of the helmet. So it basically goes between the helmet and the padding. I put some of the wiring behind that and then tucked it in right into there. Now since this does have the spot for the Cena uh, to fit into, the 20S will not fit into this. It does require a bracket that you put on there. Um, so the 10S and the Scala or Scala Ride or something fits into this. So basically I'm gonna be covering this up anyways. So what I did is I took this little piece off. There's a little part underneath it that is about that deep. And I wrapped the wiring all nicely into there. I cut out a little notch right here as you can see so that the wiring wouldn't be pinched or anything like that and so that it would still set flush and basically ran all the wiring wrapped it all around in there it goes through to the inside of the helmet and then it comes in here goes all up along there and then i tucked the mic nicely into the cheek pad you guys can see right into there so basically that right there all right there you go so that's where the microphone is so i've put it on put my finger there like exhaled a couple times there's no real wind that's right there and if there is you know then i'll just press it and tuck it back in a little more all right well if you guys have made it that far that is basically how to set up a moto vlogging helmet um like i said you guys can find the links to everything in the description below everything that i use from the little curved mount here to the 90 degree adapter to the actual gopro the uh, audio adapter as well and also the microphone that we're using on the inside here uh, and the helmet so i'll link everything um, now before i do wrap it up uh, i'm actually going to go take it for a test ride real quick just to make sure that everything works and uh so that we can get kind of the see what the audio quality is at this point so let's uh go ahead and go do that jesus traffic man what the hell So first time in this helmet with this motovlog setup and traffic silks as expected but we're just doing a test run I imagine it should sound very good because I feel very minimal airflow over like the mouth area which is where the microphone is and so I'm worried about you know wind noise it does have a little bit of wind noise but nothing too crazy field of view in this new helmet is pretty nice and the visor is nice and clear i don't have any lines from the pen lock that was one downside to the pen lock but that's neither here nor there it's not a helmet review video it is a how-to moto vlog setup video anyway so that's how you set up your uh, your moto vlogging helmet like i said the link for everything should be in the description below I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it was insightful. I know I'm going to enjoy the video because I have people ask me like non-stop about what my setup is. And so this will be a nice video to basically be able to direct people towards for that question. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please feel free to post them up in the comments below and I'll answer them to the best of my knowledge. If you guys did enjoy the video, be sure to hit the like button. Helps out a lot. And if you guys aren't subscribed already, be sure to hit the subscribe button down there as well. But yeah, I hope the uh, 
the video was insightful and helpful for you guys. So until next time, you guys ride safe out there, stay vigilant, and I will catch y'all later. Deuces. Gotta take a look at it with them new blockhead stickers. <laughs> that dude it looks good, it matches actually pretty well.